Subscribe Premium Learning's YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive updates about videos for your career growth. Hello everyone and welcome to our very first session on soft skills. My name is Pooja and I am associated with Premium Learning Systems as a soft skill trainer. So this is our very first online session. Every medium has got its advantages and disadvantages, right? So even this medium, the online one, demands some different things from the learners and the trainer as well. So as a trainer, I've got few expectations from the learners, that which is you, and that is expected to be fulfilled so that you get the 100% out of these sessions. You are benefited to the fullest by these online sessions. Okay. So the very first expectations that I have from you is to be listening to these sessions using headphones, sitting at a quiet place and listening to these sessions through headphones so that you are 100% concentrated uh, to what you're learning and not distracted by things going around you. Okay. That's one thing. The second thing that I want you to carry with you while learning these things is to carry a pen and a paper. Yes, this is required so that you will be ready with the equipments to do the assignments every time when I ask you to. Okay. In these sessions, in these online sessions, I'll be asking you to uh, give your response, give your feedback, do some assignments and you have to pause the video then and there, complete your assignment and then resume the video and continue. Okay. This is the way we have to do this learning. We have to use these videos, right? So if you follow these guidelines, I'm sure you'll be benefited a lot. Okay. So welcome again now soft skills soft skills is a very broad term now because this is the very first session i want to be sure that you know the term soft skills correctly i want you to understand how important it is in your personal as well as professional life okay so once we are convinced that something is very important we actually, you know, uh, tend to give more attention and dedication for that thing. Okay. So, so before we embark on the journey of our soft skill sessions, I want to make sure that you know what soft skills are and what is the importance. Okay. Should we start? So what are soft skills? Knowing Java, knowing Salesforce, knowing Oracle, these things in relation to your jobs will be hard skills. However, to be able to lead the team, to be able to communicate with the clients effectively, or to impress an interviewer with the knowledge you have or with the personality you have, these are soft skills. Soft skills basically deal with your personality. They help you to come across as a confident, powerful, and as a strong person, okay? So communication skills is a soft skill. Leadership skill is a soft skill. Being able to manage the conflicts in your life at your workplace is again a soft skill. There is a long list of topics within this soft skill term. Okay. Now one myth about soft skill. A lot of people think that soft skills are just, you know, important to impress people or to be able to express. No, that's not the truth. They're not just about expressing or impressing they are about engineering yourself from within. Yes, engineering yourself from within. Self-engineering, I would call it as. So to be able to come across as a sorted person, as a confident person, as your best version, it is important that you work on your soft skills. Okay, I think that is a fair enough introduction for the soft skills. Now, are they really important? Now, not just because I'm a soft skill trainer, not just because it is soft skills session, but in general, I will vouch on the importance of soft skills. These are really important skills. In my eight years of experience where I worked as a software developer in a multinational company and then a team leader and then an onshore coordinator, I can vouch on the importance of these skills. 
the basic difference between soft skill and hard skill is let's take an example let's say if you are stuck in a code development and you're not able to move ahead so you can google you can ask your technical lead you can ask a friend you can read a book you can copy it from somewhere right a lot of different ways yeah but let's take another scenario let's consider another situation where you are in a crisis situation where you have to lead the team or in a crunch situation where you have to communicate with the client to give them the confidence or in a meeting where you have to give the effective presentation to prove your substance for the promotion now my question is who and what can help you in an interview which is really important for you can you actually refer a book on communication skills and take guidelines on how to communicate with the interviewer no the basic difference that i want to tell you between soft skill and a hard skill is soft skills cannot be borrowed soft skill cannot to be borrowed soft skill have to be developed soft skills have to be developed okay another thing which i would like to discuss in terms of importance of soft skills is let's say a colleague of yours which who might not be equally competent and strong as you are but he has really great impression on the client he has a great control on the lower hierarchy and he conveys all that he does to the senior authority in a great and impactful manner so in that case he has obviously has better chances than you of getting benefits getting promoted isn't it your hard skills can help you in a particular area now let's say the way i worked on oracle but now if i have to switch the company and they want the person to be working on java then my oracle knowledge can help me to some extent but i cannot work there on my oracle knowledge only right i cannot implement everything that i learnt in oracle right exactly opposite your life skills your soft skills they are applicable literally in every field of area life so it doesn't mean that in x company if you have learnt leadership skills you cannot implement those skills in y company it's not going to be the case life skills are they are not particular they are general they are life skills they improve your life no matter what area of life it is personal professional art side anything right so the very first difference between a hard and soft skill is soft skill cannot be borrowed they have to be developed and another major difference is soft skills can be applied literally every 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 field of the life whether it is personal professional or any other